Okay, hello. Uh, welcome to, to this class. This class is entitled Multimedia Content Analysis. In this class, we will offer you uh, the fundamental concept of uh, different modalities of media. So uh, this is called multimedia, okay? So including uh, images, videos, text, and many others. And uh, we will discuss about um, from the basic techniques to analyze this media to uh, most recent technology. So in this class, we will offer you uh, the uh, technologies from the very basic to the state of the art. So this class is offered online. Okay, so it should be an online video courses. So depending on the semesters uh, that will be uh, given uh, in this class, so um, you have to take care about what times of uh, uh, what times of this class should be uh, will be released on the internet. And the location, you, you can uh, read this class uh, as, uh, where, wherever you want. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, we will arrange several times face-to-face uh, -face, uh, teaching courses. So um, in addition to receiving the online course, you will have to uh, attend the real class real classroom to um, to have a face-to-face -face communication with me and the other uh, classmates okay so be care and be sure you uh, follow the schedule of this class according to the announcement that will be put on I think that will be put on the e-course system and my name is Weta Chu um, my office is at uh, CSIU building uh, 413. So if you have any question about this class, just knock my door uh, to see whether I'm in my office or not and discuss with me. And of course, it's better to uh, make an appointment via email first so that you can make sure that I will be in my office. And uh, the issues we will discuss in this class uh, is, uh, is quite broad. So there is no textbook for this class. But I will give you some uh, reading material that may be extracted from books, from journal, or maybe from the uh, conference proceeding. And some reference will be given after each class. Okay. And about the teaching resource, uh, this video you are watching right now is the main uh, teaching resource. And uh, this video will be put on the CyberCCU Cyber CCU system. And uh, the main class arrangement or the, the main schedule will be announced on the e-course system. Okay, And of course, we will have a teaching assistant maybe at least one teacher assistant later. At this class, we emphasize the student's implementation. So uh, about grading, we will um, uh, take the grade based on how students can implement the idea or the system uh, we assign or propose by the students. So in this class, uh, we will make the grading based on several topics. The first one is uh, I will assign one programming assignment. And in this programming assignment, you have to implement the topics I assign to you. And uh, you also have to write a report to, to, uh, to describe uh, in what environment you implement this program and the parameter and the result 
the performance of uh, your implementation. And because this is um, this is basically an online course, and I have to make sure you really uh, read the online course, the online video recording. So here is the design to make sure you really uh, you really uh, read the online course. So I will we will have uh, one face to face class for every four or five online classics. So be care. Uh, to 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 know uh, be care to browse the announcement release on um, at the e-course system or the cyber CCU system. So every four to five online classes, we will have one class uh, face to face class. And in this face to face class, we will have a quiz. Uh, the covering the previous four or five topics okay so you have to take care when you should attend the real classroom and attack the quiz and uh, the proportion of the quiz uh, to the grading will be 30 percent okay and finally in our class we more emphasize uh, the final result the final implementation so uh, you are required to do a final project so um, some of you may, may form a team. For example, um, two person may form a team, or at most four students can form a team and propose the idea uh, for the final project. So uh, we will have a face-to-face class, -face class that is for uh, for you to make the project proposal, and then you can implement your project in a, around one month and at the last class of this course you are required to give an oral presentation about how you implement your work how what's the performance of you your your work okay and then finally you can write a report uh, to talk about all the details of your final project. Okay. And this part uh, occupy this part uh, is a range forty percent grade. That means even if you have perfect uh, grade from the program assignment as well as the quiz, you also need to do the final project to pass this course. Okay, so why this course? Okay, right now we have a lot of audio, video, music, e images on the internet. So more and more multimedia content are available on the internet. Okay, so you can see that, you can imagine that um, most of the uh, data flow on the internet are actually videos right now. So you have already watched many videos from the YouTube, uh, you may have uh, listened to music from KKBox and you can retrieve many many images uh, from the Facebook or from the Google so there are a large volume a very large volume of uh, multimedia contents available on the internet for users that seems good but they this cause to uh, cause to uh, cause to a several problem First, uh, given such a large volume of multimedia data, how can we efficiently access? And uh, to discuss this problem, actually, uh, there have been many, many uh, technologies uh, developed uh, to handle with such problem, like um, the classification method. Okay, so there have been many, many classification methods Okay, for example, um, there is a work, uh, there, there is a set of work about a music or video general classification. Like uh, we want to classify the music uh, into several classes, uh, including maybe jazz, classical, uh, rock, rock and roll, and so on. Okay. And also video general classification. Maybe um, around uh, more than 10 years ago, 
there have been many works on a video general classification. So given a video, uh, we want to classify the video into whether uh, it's a TV show, it's a movie, it's a commercial or a sports video or a weather forecast. Okay. Another example is the content-based clustering. Okay, so um, we want to group similar content together automatically. Okay, so this is one type of um, technology to let us more efficiently access multimedia content. Another one is uh, retrieval. This is quite common to, uh, to, to, to all of you right now. And uh, because you, you already have uh, many experience on uh, searching uh, each, uh, web page on Google. But uh, if you try the Google image search right now, you still uh, be able to, uh, you are still able to uh, key, key in some keywords and find, and find uh, some relevant uh, images. So this is one, this is one way, query by keyword. So you can input keyword and retrieve uh, the images that contain the uh, concept you just type in. Okay, you can retrie retrieve it. Another approach is called uh, content-based image retrieval. So I don't know what to how to um, uh, give the keyword, but I just want to search a butterfly just like I have on my hand right now. So I can upload a butterfly image and uh, let Google retrieve similar butterfly images for me. So this is called the uh, content-based image retrieval. So all this research topic has been uh, work many, many years. So in addition to how to efficiently access another uh, question is what to access. So even you have already retrieved the video you want, you still don't know the object you are interested in. Where is the object you are interested in? Okay. So uh, these kinds of uh, problem uh, also give rise to many research. So these kinds of research get what we want in a specific data item. And uh, one set of such technology is um, segmentation, like speech music discrimination in audio stream, uh, so like uh, in uh, broadcast radio, and uh, the anchor person may speak. And then uh, they will play a music, or maybe many, many music. And uh, uh, most audience just like to listen to music. Uh, other than listen to the per, uh, people talk. So uh, this is the motivation of such technology. So given a long audio stream, this technology dividing the whole stream into many, several, uh, many, many uh, segments. And each segment belongs to speech or music. Okay. Another example is, this, is the structure analysis in sports video and because of different uh, sports, different games have uh, different rules. So uh, according to the game rule, we can find the structure, we can di uh, divide it, the sports video into uh, uh, structure. Okay, we can structurally divide the sports video. For example, uh, a baseball game. Uh, usually contains uh, at least nine innings, and each innings contains uh, two half innings. Okay, so how do we automatically uh, segment a baseball game into innings or even half innings? That is quite important. That's quite fundamental for a baseball video analysis. Another set of uh, Technology is called adaptation. So the video may be very, very long. So uh, in order to uh, to decrease the time we need 
to understand the video, there is a set of technology called video summarization or highlight extraction. Video summarization means maybe we can just uh, summarize in one hour video into maybe 10 minutes so that in this 10 minute short video you can realize the important you can you can realize the important content you can see the most important object and see the uh, the most important events so this is called the video summarization highlight is another uh, alternative okay sometimes uh, in addition to uh, well defined events uh, there, there are some um, interesting things. Okay, so we call highlight. For example, the beautiful catch uh, in a baseball game is a can be uh, collect as a highlight. The beautiful catch may not involve with the the, the points or the, uh, the the good hit, but uh, we you as a user we usually like to. Uh, see the beautiful catch because it's it's uh, exciting it's interesting okay and another approach another technology is called uh, event detection so given a video we may like to detect the most important event for example uh, uh, taking the baseball game again um, in a baseball game we may like to detect the the, the time of home run okay so this is the most one of the most important events in baseball game. So um, given uh, these two important problems, uh, we develop the field of content analysis and organization. Okay, and this is the main topics. Okay, this is the main topics of this crowd of this course. Okay, so why this course? Because we have already many many multimedia content, and we have to, we still don't we still don't have a very good technology to uh, efficiently retrieve the video or the music or the images we want. Okay, and many many topics are still ongoing research topics. Okay. And we, we can see that um, information is of no use unless you can actually access it. So this is just like the, the, the things on your desktop. You may have many things on your desktop. Okay, this is all belong to you. But if you cannot efficiently access it, basically they, they are trash. Okay, I, I remember I have something but I just cannot find it. That is equal to you don't have such data. You don't have such information. So information is of no use unless you can actually access it. That is quite important. So uh, this course, Multimedia Content Analysis, is the fundamental and is the very important uh, uh, research for uh, multimedia retrieval or indexing and the goal of this course are to introduce basic idea technology and the tools for analyzing uh, multimedia content okay so we will try to start from the very beginning from very basic to the most recent technology and we want to inspire students to propose and to develop new multimedia related technologies and the system so again i still have to emphasize the importance of the final project you have to propose your idea and you have to implement you have to develop it okay and uh, uh, for some students uh, who are not graduate student maybe you are undergraduate student um, if you cannot propose your research idea one alternative is to enhance the efficiency or effectiveness of multimedia information access. Okay, so you, you can try to enhance the current system. And of course, graduate students can also do so. Okay, so uh, it's, rare, it's rare that 
a graduate student can propose a very novel topics that is so rare. So most graduate students even do this, just enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of current uh, system. Okay, and I am quite sure there are many, many multimedia information systems you can work on. So how does this course go? Okay, so here is the syllabus of our course. Uh, basically, the structure of this course uh, consists of three parts. The first part is the fundamental part. So we will describe the essence of image, video, and audio very quickly. And then we will describe uh, video audio content analysis. We will pick um, important several important topics um, most of them maybe let's say say many of them is were were actually uh, developed uh, maybe 10 years ago but we still think that is important because only if you understand the uh, the, the classical uh, idea of video audio content analysis you can understand the most recent research works Okay, and then we will introduce the one of the most uh, uh, widely studied research topic, content-based image retrieval. And uh, right now, uh, machine learning technology has been widely uh, adopted in multimedia content analysis. So we will also describe uh, three or four uh, basic but important machine learning technology. Okay, so these are the, all the fundamental concepts. In the second part, we will describe the semantic analysis and the advanced topics. Okay, the semantics is a word that is um, relative to the fundamental part. In the fundamental part, uh, many works on uh, synthetic. Okay, syntactics means the structure or the grammar, low-level grammar. Okay, like um, this is a book. Okay, for synthetic analysis, we analyze. Okay, so uh, this is a noun. Okay, this is a verb. Okay, something like that. So basically, the synthetic analysis just uh, analyze the the low-level structure or just segment the uh, uh, given a, a, a video or a, a audio, okay? So this is synthetic analysis. For the semantic analysis, that means um, we try to make the computer understand what this sentence say, okay? We will try to make it. Okay, so this is called the semantic analysis. So the computer may understand, okay, um, uh, here this sentence means uh, there is something and that this thing is a book. Okay, so um, based on the basic synthetic analysis, we will go forward to semantic analysis in images and video. And uh, for many multimedia systems, many works have demonstrated that the performance will be better if you can jointly consider consider uh, multiple modality. For example, you jointly consider video and audio. You jointly consider image and audio. And even right now, you jointly consider image and many other social media. Okay, so this is the second part we will provide you uh, some advanced research topics. Okay. And in the third part, if we, if we have more time, we can introduce you most recent research works. So the third part is uh, called the uh, case study. So we will introduce you the most recent, maybe published in uh, 2015 or 2016.
Okay. So we will describe the so this we I just quickly go through uh, the following slides. Uh, so in this course we will introduce you the in uh, the essence of image video and audio like uh, the color space how color can be represented the audio waveform uh, the video characteristic and uh, we will introduce the video structure analysis this is uh, a kind of a syntax analysis so given a video you can divide the video into scene okay and uh, each scene can be divided into very uh, several shots and uh, for each shot uh, is formed by a sequence of video frames and uh, for this just taking the tennis video as an example uh, a tennis match consists of at least uh, at most three sets and uh, for each set consists of uh, each set consists of several games and uh, each game consists of many points Okay, so this is the video structure analysis. Audio, we will introduce the audio classification, like uh, we want to classify the given audio into speech, music, environmental sound, and others. And we will also introduce the, uh, a very famous paper uh, called Music General Classification. Okay, so given uh, music, they try to classify the music into classical, country, disco, hip hop, jazz, rock, blue, reggae, pop, and metal. And even for the classical music, they can more finely classify the classical music into core, orchestra, pen, piano, or string, quartet. And for jazz, they can also do finer classification. For color based image retrieval, uh, given a query image, uh, we will match. We will match these query images with other images in the database. Okay, so we will extract features from the query images, and uh, we will calculate the similarity between uh, different images, and then uh, return uh, the images that have similar characteristic or similar visual representation to the query image. So this is the so-called content-based image retrieval. And actually, the uh, such technology can be extended to video. Okay, So we can find image or video shots that have similar features. So we will also describe several visual features. For semantic analysis, uh, Basically, in uh, in the early area era, uh, uh, from the audio data, video data, text or image data, we can extract many features. But from the features to the semantic concept, semantic event, that will be a big gap. And this is the so-called semantic gap. The semantic gap is the gap between high-level concept and the low level feature okay so uh, with because of the semantic gap uh, computer or robot cannot understand the data like we human can do okay and uh, for the set of the semantic analysis technology uh, we may have several approach to narrow the semantic gap this is one example. So if we have already some target semantic events, and if we focus on sports video, for example, because in different sports, they may have some rules or some uh, video taking convention. So we can define some uh, mid-level representation, like uh, the changes of caption information, uh, the type of shot, or some audio effects, or uh, some specific speech. So we can define these kinds of mid-level representation. And uh, uh, we can, from the general facts, uh, facts and observation, we can develop models from mapping the low-level the low feature to the mid-level representation. 
And based on the distribution of mean level representation, we can develop a model to map the mean level representation to target high level concept. So this is one way uh, for us to do some of the analysis. We will also introduce machine learning technologies, uh, including uh, Gaussian matrix model, Hidden Markov model, and a support method machine. And uh, in addition to these three um, conventional but important learning technologies, we will also include deep learning technology. Deep learning. And deep learning technology um, is quite important uh, because uh, these kinds of technology uh, improve many, many computer vision uh, and many, many uh, multimedia content uh, research in recent years. Just, be, uh, just begin uh, in year 2012. So just four years ago, the deep learning techniques uh, were applied in uh, computer vision task. Since then, uh, performance can be largely improved. So in the recent uh, two or three years, you can see many, many uh, state-of-the-art technologies are based on deep learning. So we will also introduce deep learning technology. And we will also introduce multi-model multi -model analysis and integration. So in this example, we, ana we can analyze photos and also analyze music and then they integrate, uh, integrate the result of photo analysis and the music analysis and make a uh, composition to make a better uh, multi-model uh, uh, presentation. Okay, so now I quickly review uh, previous projects that have been proposed and developed by uh, the students taking this course uh, before. So um, I give this give you um, this project uh, as an example for you to realize what kinds of uh, topics and what kinds of projects can be done for the final project. Okay, so here is one of the projects proposing uh, year 2015. Uh, this is called uh, image mapping, and uh, uh, this student developed a, a system, an interactive system, uh, <clears throat> from where you can identify the foreground pixel and the background pixel by just pen, just um, uh, make a, 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 a several draw. And the system will automatically segment the foreground object and the background. So this is one example. Okay. So basically, uh, this topic is more related to computer graphics or and uh, computer vision, but it is also okay to be done in uh, our course. Another one is the core detection in badminton videos. Uh, the Students try to, uh, given a badminton video, he tries to detect the, the chord line, just like leaks, leaks, okay. And by detecting the chord line, uh, we can more accurately detect uh, player's position. And maybe based on how player move, we can realize, we can detect, we can estimate what kinds of event happen in badminton video. Another one is called recognizing OEO painting style using convolutional neural network. And uh, in this project, they utilize the uh, convolutional neural network to extract visual features. And uh, um, they measure the correlation between uh, different uh, uh, filter response. And uh, they say that uh, using such descriptor, they can more appropriately describe uh, the audio painting. Okay, so uh, they construct a model, construct a classifier to classify a given audio painting into 
uh, one of several style. For example, um, Rococo. For example, um, <clears throat> uh, impression. Okay, and given the text image, they can also extract e features and use the classifier to uh, predict <clears throat> what kinds of paint, uh, what kinds of style this painting image is. Another project is also using the CNN feature. They try to detect face in comics or in manga, Japanese comics. So here we can see that some result. Um, we try to find um, the face region, okay, in the uh, comics. <clears throat> and of course, you can see there are many uh, false alarm here, okay, and this is why we still uh, work on this topic. We try to make it more accurate. Another project is called, is based on the Google's review image. So they try to detect, um, <clears throat> they try to segment and detect the meaning of different region of the, uh, the Google's review image. For example, this is row region. <clears throat> this is the sky region. And then they also try to detect the traffic sign. And uh, based on the result, they, they try to um, develop a navigation system so that given uh, the, uh, the starting point and the destination, they try to find the best way to uh, go from the source to the destination. <clears throat> okay, so the following projects are, were proposed in uh, year 2014. <clears throat> the first one is the Denmark recognition. So uh, in this project, <clears throat> the student extract visual features and they try to <clears throat> recognize uh, what landmark is in the uh, the image. For example, this is the um, uh, the Gate of Triumph in Paris, and this is also in Paris, and this is in uh, Barcelona. Okay, so this is one of the most uh, popular image classification task in previous years. <clears throat> Another project is called data hiding. So if a user Alice try to um, transmit information to, to Bob and we want to keep uh, this transmission secret, so we need uh, data hiding uh, techni technology. So um, if we just send from Alice to Bob by the plain text, the information may be leaked. So they develop a system, <clears throat> they have a secret key, and they will try to embed information in an image and send this image to Bob, and Bob can extract the hiding information, the hidden information from the image if the Bob has the secret key. Another project is called the sign, uh, the, um, the, the localize, localization system based on a traffic sign. The idea is if we can recognize the, 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 the sign, for example, this is um, Zhonghua Yilu and uh, uh, Gu San San Lu. If we can recognize this the row, the name of two these two rows, we can input these two rows to the uh, Google Map, and then Google Map will help us localize what corner and what place you are locate. locate. Okay, so this is the basic idea. So in in this project, they have to recognize the name of the row and then put these names on Google Map API to help them uh, locate. Here is uh, the highlight video extraction for game video using visual and text analysis. So given a game video, uh, basically uh, these students work on uh, LOL, okay, LOL, and 
he try to uh, detect the highlight uh, the most interesting part of this video okay so they extract some visual feature and also extract text okay basically the name of the player and then combine this information to detect event this project is uh, to predict occupation from image so basically given a face image we try to uh, detect or try to predict what kinds of occupation this person is so for for example all these persons are anchor person and all these persons are professors all these persons are athletic okay and basically we can extract visual features from face and because of the a the, the diff, unique distribution of age and uh, gender and many others we can estimate uh, the occupation of an of, of an uh, of a facial image for example anchor person tend to be female professor tend to be elder and athlete tend to be younger so this is why um, predicting occupation from imagery is possible okay so in this project given multiple images if we can uh, detect common region in these images this common region may present more important information so this is so-called uh, common pattern discovery so given these two images if we can identify okay this region is similar to re this region then we may be able to detect uh, more important part in images Here is an uh, interpolation, uh, automatically interpolation between uh, several uh, static image. For example, given three static image, we try to uh, interplay, interplay the, uh, the intermediate images between these three static images and uh, generate a G, uh, GIF animation file. So here. This is what you can see, okay, the result. Another um, more uh, computer graphics related, related project is called uh, Interactive Virtual Drum. Okay, so by using the Wii uh, sensor, we can estimate the depths. We can estimate the depths and then uh, in this project, the students develop a virtual drum system, so uh, the users can can wave his hand to hit different kinds of uh, instrument, and uh, different kinds of instrument will issue uh, different sound. Okay, so this is a very interesting project, and uh, um, you can uh, implement. You can uh, have a very, uh, you can enjoy the um, implementation in, uh, experience. This project is called um, uh, hotel. This is basically the hotel recommendation. So, uh, based on the user rating and also the hotel images, in this project, uh, these students try to. Uh, develop a hotel recommendation system and then they uh, he verified that uh, visual information hotels visual information is uh, helpful in recommending hotels here uh, this project uh, the students try to detect the uh, the region that colorblind people cannot be well identified for example for the red green colorblind people, uh, they cannot dis discriminate the red region and the blue region. So, uh, in this project, uh, the students tries to uh, detect the regions that colorblind people cannot discriminate. This is also 
and uh, uh, information hiding uh, project. So the send from the sender to the receiver. Okay, we try to make the transmission secret. Okay, so this project is also about comics. So this is also for detecting, basically also detecting the face of the characters in comics. And uh, this is about the art, art artist style behind manga. So we can use the line drawing style and uh, how uh, the artist arrange the panel and how the artist um, invoke uh, the screen tone. Then we can measure, we can estimate the style of different artists. And in year 2012, uh, the first project is called the, multi, uh, the Music Segmentation and the Query. So they try to uh, give an, an MP4, MP3 uh, file. They try to extract uh, audio features. And then they try to um, classify the hidden Markov model so that uh, they can discriminate uh, whether uh, audio segment is a uh, music or not. Here is another work about uh, using the kidnap to do uh, gesture recognition. So here uh, the, the, the students use the kidnap information uh, and estimate the, uh, uh, the skeleton of the human body as well as the depth information so that they can recognize uh, the gesture like uh, right hand up or left hand up or a wave uh, and something like that. This project developed uh, an interactive game and uh, basically they use webcam and they can use the uh, hand to uh, wave or to hit the ball. So there is a ball uh, uh, move just uh, following the motion uh, hit by hand. Okay, so two people on each side can can hit the ball and play the game. And this project is uh, based on the driver driver's video. Okay, as we know that there are. Uh, more and more um, uh, driver video upload to uh, the, to the web. So we try to understand the scene captured by the driver's video. Like uh, it's inside city, it's on highway, it's on countryside, or it's in tunnel. And this project is starting uh, while studying uh, the image aesthetics. Uh, in this project, the students propose that uh, the image size may affect, affect how we perceive uh, the image aesthetics of the, Im uh, the image aesthetics. Okay, so for some image, uh, the resolution, the higher, the better. But for some images, not always higher resolution image give us higher uh, image, image aesthetics. And in this project, uh, the students transform animation videos into comics. So given an animation video, uh, they do shot change first and then extract keyframe and then do scene detection. And then they have to define uh, how to find the most important part on screen. And then they have to measure the image importance. And based on such information, they can compose uh, comic pages. And of course, uh, they have also to place the speech balloons so that finally um, comics can be automatically generated from 
the animation video. This project is about tennis. Okay, so uh, they try to develop a system that can measure whether uh, you, you, you have a good, you issue a good stroke or not. And then they try to, uh, according to your posture, uh, they try to recommend different uh, racket to users. Okay, so they also use uh, the, the, the depth sensor to capture the motion or and the depth information and then they analyze the speed of stroke and uh, the angle of the stroke and then uh, they have a system to uh, classify to determine uh, what kinds of racket is appropriate to this user this project is simple okay they detect eyeball and uh, uh, the eyeball orientation okay so here we can see that they detect uh, they focus on this region eye region and then they try to detect the eyeball as well as the eye orientation like this one um, uh, this uh, she may uh, gaze at the left uh, the left side and uh, for this one uh, she may get at the top side Another project is called a uh, 2D transforming 2D vi video to 3D video. So given 2D videos, they try to generate depths automatically, and uh, by uh, with the the depth information, uh, they generate 3D images or 3D videos. Medical images also uh, study. So in this project, they study to use AdaBoost to recognize some um, abnormal region. So this is the uh, image about uh, eyeball, about eyeball, the vessel in the eyeball. And uh, uh, they try to detect the ab abnormal region. Here is a project uh, also based on Google Street View images. Uh, we try to detect vehicles on in images and remove this remove uh, these uh, vehicles so that and recover the road surface so that we can obtain uh, image sequence and image sequence that digs. so most moving cars are removed and uh, the 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 road surface are recovered. And this is an um, intelligent uh, car, uh, car driving system, okay, especially for parking. So um, uh, this system automatically de detects if there is any objects uh, on the on the back side of the car, and uh, they may um, give some alarm uh, if some object occupy. The, the back side of space. So the last project in year 2012 is the facial expression recognition system. Um, in this project, uh, students try to recognize the facial expression based on some standard uh, uh, benchmark. So they detect the features on face and then uh, construct a classification model to recognize facial expression. So the facial expression may be happy, uh, maybe uh, angry, maybe surprised, and many others. So uh, from all the projects I mentioned before, we can see that uh, in this course, many kinds of topics can be used uh, to be the final projects that be, may be uh, more computer vision related, computer graphics related, and of course multimedia content analysis related or multimedia retrieval related. So um, basically uh, the possible topics uh, that can be used as the final project would be quite 
broad. So before you propose、uh, the idea in our class, you can discuss with me. You can discuss with your team members and try to、um, uh, try to be be be、uh, innovative. Try to be practical. Try to be programmable. Okay, and、uh, I encourage you to、uh, solidly implement your final project so that、um, you can have wear implementation experience. And if you have、uh, some novelty compo components, you can also、uh, use this the result of this project to submit a paper or to、uh, accelerate your own. Uh, progress on、uh, master thesis. So I encourage you to think about how you can transform part of your master thesis into the final project of this course. Okay.